I have read the majority of the New Testament with my Bible reading partner. And we are in the old, we are in the Old Testament now. I recommend anyone to read the New Testament first than the Old Testament. Because I feel if you read hmm, the Old Testament first and stay in it, look, there have been some things, there are some things that have changed from the old to the new. So if you stay in the Old Testament and remain in it, you may believe I believe you will be mixed up. Some things you may believe you have to do, but because you don't really know the New Testament, I think it is going to bring confusion. Anyways, I have read the majority of the New Testament with my Bible reading partner, and we are in the Old Testament now. And it seems like I am learning or have learned more of God's character. I think many of us may have heard people say that God is a loving God and when people die, I mean, when there are wars, disease, and stuff like that, those things are caused by Satan. And I don't think that is really true. Because if you read in the Old Testament, I think many of the things we may feel like it is caused by Satan, I believe it is caused by God, the Lord. I believe I have learned or reviewed more, I guess I can say, that God causes, I mean, God brings plagues, make people sick, bring war. What else? Hardens hearts, kills people. Now, those things we may place in the account of Satan, but clearly, if you read the Bible, especially in the Old Testament, it was the Lord doing those things. Like with what is going on today with this, you know, that mess that disease where you have to wear that mask stuff, I believe ultimately, whether you feel like that stuff is real or not, maybe I should not call it mess. God, please forgive me. But ultimately, I believe that has came from the Lord. And you may say to me, Kevin, how can you say that? If you read back in the Old Testament, pretty, pretty much the primary reasons he would bring war and diseases and plagues and famines and all that stuff there is because of sin. So if 
the nation or the place where you are living at now, if people are willfully sinning so much, I believe a lot of the bad things that are happening there is because of the Lord. I believe um, I may not have the scripture on me now, but I believe the Bible says something about it is God. I may misquote it, but I believe it says that it is God that raises up kings and brings them down or something like that. So if there is an evil king, is that saying that God raises that person up as in the reason they are in power is because of God? Is that saying that? And I believe one of the reasons why some countries or whatever may have bad politicians or whatever they may call them is because of the people. So God is not this really soft God as harmless God. Like he is more fierce than what I thought. God is a very, yes, he is a very loving God. He is a very caring God, full of mercy and grace, but he is very fierce. Think about hell. Like, what type of God, or should I say, what type of person can send someone to hell think about the lake of fire what type of person can send a person there so if you take this in mind god is not someone to really mess with yes he is full of mercy but i believe he is a god of vengeance a God of punishment. Yes, a God that blesses, a God that loves, a God that is there for you, if I am saying that right. But if you choose to like hurt people, purposely doing wrong, willfully sinning and stuff like that, you are in trouble. So you may think of God as being a loving God, but look at your life now. I would say many of the bad things you probably have went through, and if you chose to willfully go against God's rules, I believe it was God who allowed or did some of those bad things to you. I would say it. Read the Old Testament. Read the New Testament. Like, I guess you could listen to a person teach, but I think some teachings may leave out some stuff. So I think reading the Bible will give you a better, how can I say it, outlook or in-depth look of the character of God. So let me stop here. God bless you.